Hey guys, so got a new update for you guys. Let me see if I can get some lighting. Got a new update for you guys. It's in the truck. Let's get into it. So we got, you won't even be able to see. We got that. We got a cluster for the truck. Uh, I'll show you guys what the OEM one that the truck has looks like. But that's the new cluster. And that's the old one. I'll show you guys more in depth in a minute. So give me a second. Now that we got the camera flipped around, this is my OEM cluster. You can see it's the basic, <laughs> nothing fancy, literally a four inch screen, not even the eight. Um, it is what it is. So we hop in the truck, turns on like that. You see that? Looks nice or whatever. Um, go ahead and grab the keys. Turn the truck to the on position. There is a new Nothing changes. Then we change it the to the run view. position. Show my starts recording. Turn off our lights. But that's what we're looking like. Uh, turn off the air so there's our miles per hour set 179 miles 208 till empty average just the basics fuel economy driver says settings it's the really the basic so this is what we're upgrading to right there that's a full digital uh, cluster except for the speedometer which it's, it has a, a digital speed speedometer as well and then we have the rpms which aren't uh digital but everything else is a digital um this is digital too it's a small screen we went ahead and upgraded to the completely digital screen not even the eight screen, eight inch screen we went completely digital so let's see how this starts up it should say no, normally trucks say Ford built for, built Ford Tough or something like that. So we'll see, oh, or maybe I'm just confusing that one with my dad's old 2012. That one says built Ford Tough. So we'll see how this one turns on. But let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys. So to my understanding, we're supposed to pop this off this trim. Let me turn down the. Oh, that's the lowest. This is the lowest setting. Sorry, guys. I'm, I gotta pop this trim off which is also this one. So all I'm gonna do is grab it from here and pull it towards me. There's one clip and pull it towards me. There we go. We gotta take off this. Don't ask why I cut this. I had to get this switch in because of my subs. Um, we have to get this to, to what I know. We have to get this seven millimeter and that seven millimeter right there so i'm gonna go ahead and do that i'll be right back with you guys when i get that done so we got the two bolts yeah bolts they're bolts see that they're bolts two seven mils they were seven mils um off i went ahead and put this back up so that way it's not getting in my way i went ahead and popped this and i'm gonna bring the steering wheel down i'm gonna grab this plastic trim that you can see is separate to the dashboard and I'm gonna pull it towards me, and I believe there should be four clips. No, I don't know how many clips, but there's four bolts I have to get to for the cluster in order to get that cluster out. So I have to get that that um, trim out, that plastic trim. And all you do is just pull it towards me. Now, sadly, I, I can't film that part because I don't have a helper with me to record. So if it's done any other way i'm gonna you know i'm gonna break it and i'll let you guys know how sh you should do it but if it's not then just carry on all right guys so i literally just pulled it towards me from this corner and this corner and it even got the top part loose so now i'm gonna try and fit angle it out the way what i did was i brought it all the way back down and pulled it towards me the steering wheel i'm talking about um but now i just realized that there's like a leather piece right there that's holding it on so i'm gonna figure how to get that out be right back and guys we've got it so right if in here it's a little hard um 
that white tab is what's holding it in. So if you can reach behind there, because it's it's not stuck up against this, so you can reach it up behind there underneath and push that tab up while pushing this down, and it should attach it on both sides, it's the same thing. Then this should come right out. See, there you go. Now all you gotta do is deal with those bolts right there, which are seven mil as well. Oh, wait, you can't see that one. Where's it at? There you are. And then, one up there. So, let's get those out. Now that we got all those four um, bolts out, we are going to pull straight out. And I'm assuming there's going to be harnesses right behind it. So, we're going to unclip those and completely remove this. So, that way we can hit it with the replacement. Okay. Getting off the truck. What I did was tilt it on its side. You can see there is a harness behind there somewhere. Um, there you go. It's connected. So unclip it, take, and then completely remove this. So we can get the new one in. So there you have it. There's your old one. And there's your new one. And there's the harness. Right then and there. Just a little clip holding it in so let's plug up that one and i'm gonna make sure it works uh i think this odometer is a little bit um higher than that one if you're gonna buy a used one this is brand new but i had it um uh, programmed to the miles that this used to have except i had to drive this truck for an emergency so it went up a little bit but that's okay. I can fix the miles since this one's higher than that one. But you can't roll back your miles. I mean, technically, I would be rolling back my miles if I had if I leave it like this. But I'm gonna fix it with um, that computer app um, that I can't remember the name of right now. But you have to use a computer and uh, connect to your OBD2 port, and you can you can put more miles on it on your dash on your cluster so if you buy a used cluster make sure it has lower miles than your truck does uh you can always raise the the miles on the cluster but you cannot roll them back so i'm good i'm not going to be rolling back time or odometer so let me go ahead and plug it up i'm going to make sure it works uh if it does i'm gonna install everything and just show you the aftermath and everything's just plug and play to how you removed it guys so. um let me show you so turn that off turn this one on the new ones in to stay old ones out to lay that's what we got now so you open up the door and this is the first thing you see well not the first thing recap but that's what you see when it lights up. I don't know if I like the, the, the white. See, that's more yellow white than my blue white. But it flows with that a little bit better than that did. So I'm iffy on that. But everything else is perfect, um, in my opinion. So you get in the truck. You grab your keys. Turn to the on position. Nothing there happens. Parking surveillance video. But you turn it to the run position. Show my starts recording. It gives you the dimming option right away. Goes away. Then it gives you the options. Fuel count economy. And you turn it on and there you go. Two on two wheel drive. We have our four wheel option. We have four by four, so let's see what happens when we turn on the lights. Oh, it dims. Well, yeah, the other one did too, but I just didn't think. And then you have so many new uh, navigation in campus. Oh, that's new. Oh, look, tire pressure. Now you, it's so easily red. That's so cool. Oh, I didn't have the off-road status before. No, I think it did. Configure my view. Add and remove screens. Huh. I don't know what that's about. Oh, look, fuel economy. Never had that it looking like that. That's new to me. Um, engine information. Yep, that's correct. 
navigation compass, compass, campus, fuel history. Okay, twenty mile, twenty point eight. Yep. Fuel economy. Tire pressure. Digital speedometer. Oh, that's nice. Percent of oil life. Engine hours. Admin keys. I have four keys. No, I only have three. I guess dealer has one. When they was theirs, they say they didn't. Towing status. I don't have a tow, so. Charger disconnected. Charger set up. Connection checklist. Fifth wheel good snack. Off road. And settings. DT calculation towing. This is nice. Lighting, daytime, I have that off. Locks, auto unlock, remote unlock. All doors, yep. Oh, that's what that little screen is for. I was wondering when, why that was, what that was for. Can't see it? I can see it lit up dimly. Boom. Boom. I did not know that. All right. Well, um, so 174 miles still empty. That's new. It didn't look like that before. This looks nice. So that's the, the, the install. Catch you guys in the next one. Now turn up.